What is up guys, Nightwalker here, and I want to show you an easy way to make a thumbnail. I want to make a thumbnail for a Skyrim USB mod tutorial, which I'll upload before or after this video, or this, yeah, this video right here. So I want to show you a um, an easy and safe site, actually, it's really safe, there's no ads on it. And uh, so it's for reduced lag, so you can just get things done pretty quickly there. Uh, it's called bfunky.com. And I'm just going to make a thumbnail for my video. Uh, but I'm going to point out some tips that may help you get um, the point across because, well, it may sound like a, um, it may sound like a demeaning topic to uh, to do today. But um, if you're a content maker, um, and I teach a lot of people in this uh, in the Unity, which is um, it's a I forgot what I was doing. Okay, you, which uh, Unity is a um, community I own, and I tell a lot of people in Unity that. The thumbnail is um, pretty much the most important part of the video. It's a uh, it's what makes people click on it. You know, gives it um, a worthiness to like actually be watched. And I don't really make clickbait videos uh, for the purpose of having it just clickbait, but I do make it to where it is interesting. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to like pick out just a random kind of like color for background and what I usually do is I usually use this background I want to resize it real quick uh, take the lock off uh, to I usually use uh, 700 uh, 450 for uh, width and height so once that's there um, it looks like the thumbnail size probably because it is <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure there's a more correct um, width and height for it, but that's the one I usually use, and it usually fits pretty well. Um, what I want to do is I don't really make um, each thumbnail. I make uh, the same color, so I want to go to color, and I'm going to go to the hue of it, and this will change the color around. Um, so I'm going to make it. We're using like a really. Um, there we go. We're going to use a Skyrim logo for this, uh, so I want I kind of want the logo to uh, stand out. So mess around with this just a bit. So I got the color scheme, and we completely transformed the image already. Also, what I want to do is I'm going to add overlays in the thumbnail. You want to just. Um, get the point across so what are we doing we're doing a Skyrim USB um, mod tutorial so I want to look for the Skyrim logo because I think I downloaded it from Google somewhere <laughs> okay there it is and uh, what um, what we can do is if you don't Let's say you want to like redesign the logo because this is a really really big logo, and let's say we just want Skyrim and then maybe the symbol right next to the Skyrim. Um, and I'll just show you how to do that real quick. So what I'm going to do is I want to Control D, and I'll duplicate this real quick. And on this one, I'm going to cut out. I don't know what the fuck I just did. I want to cut out and I want to make a rectangular cutout. And I'm going to just uh, cut out only the word Skyrim. And I'm also going to, over here, cut out only the symbol. So we have that and the symbol. And this is going to bother me real quick. Um, yeah, this is going to bother me. There's a little, like, symbol on the edge. I'm not sure if you saw it. That's a little like TM thing. Let's cut that out. Alright, cool. So, looking pretty neato. 
So let's just size this up real bit, uh, real quick. All right, so right there, and let's scale this symbol uh, to that. All right, let's make it a bit smaller. There we go. The uh, reason I like B Funky so much is it has um, boundary lines, like uh, you can align certain things with other things. So pretty cool. Now what I want to do is um, I want to do I want to make the most mediocre background ever, or the me most mediocre thumbnail ever, uh, or just for the tutorial. Uh, so I want to put in a mediocre. A picture of a USB and since the thumbnails are so small on um, YouTube you kind of like want to make everything big so you have like limited space and then um, we're going to put in some text uh, to get the point across so it's um When we stretch it out, it's actually going to like distort it. So we're gonna put this down here. Wow, you didn't see that. I'm pretty sure I spelled tutorial wrong, but whatever. Um, so what we're gonna do is we can make this uh, white and also scale it up. So pretty cool. There's also a like a little black box. So what we're gonna do is near the black, or put the intensity down, and that way it's not it's still black. There's another one. All right, put that down. So now it's tra practically transparent. Align it real quick. There we go. It's completely aligned. All right. So, they uh, pretty simple uh, thumbnail for my next video. And um, B Funky has other things as well. Like, let's go, uh, we can edit the background. Um, we can make, uh, if you go to background and go to transparent, you can make the entire background transparent so you would only see Skyrim and then. Uh, the overlays we put in. Um, you can also go to sharpen, and what I like to do is I like to decrease the sharpen just a bit so that way it's not as, pix as pixelized. Um, because if you go to like, if you up the sharpen, it'll actually make everything pixelized. Let's see that in the background. Uh, so you leave that alone. Uh, down here. Uh, you can right here uh, levels. What this does is you can like fuck mess around with lightness and darkness of it, or if you would just want to make it darker or lighter. Uh, down here, color mixer. You can actually make your custom color. So. You know, like make it more colorful, which is going to be more distracting, and that's that's good though. You want your thumbnail to be distracting. Wow, that actually looks really good. I think what I probably do, I'm probably going to keep it looking like this. Yeah, I probably keep that look. That's that looks really good. <laughs> look so now everything stands out you want everything to stand out from the background so um yep it's pretty good so how we save it is I want to save it to my computer um let's make this Skyrim mod 
There we go. So I'm gonna make a custom thumbnail on the um YouTube. We know what file to look for. So I'm gonna save this to where I put the rest of my thumbnails. Right here. See so these are all the thumbnails I made. And save it in there. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> So you can go to your YouTube channel. Um, if you verify your account, you can make a custom thumbnail, and it's um, and it just makes it uh, a better chance for people to watch your videos. Um, but that's all for right now, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, P.S. P.S. If you want to see um funny moments gaming, uh, funny gaming moments. Um, rap music because I I am a rap artist. I um I just haven't written in a while. Um, I also do um very very few modding tutorials as well as modded gameplay uh, with Skyrim and Black Ops Two and um, Terraria, uh, Dead Island and Diablo Three. I mod a bunch of games. Um, I also do um. I also do, um, like, every once in a while, just gameplay of me fucking around on a game, whether it be modded or legitly. And so, if you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel and um, see if it's of your taste. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Can't shoot me down, don't question my sins Can't smooth it out, scars on my skin I'm mapped to each and every memory You're gonna have my body, it's damaged and dead to me